Thank you. What year is this one? 89. Hey guys, hi, how are you? I know it's been a while since my last video. Today I want to give you an update on my fleet. Can two vehicles be considered a fleet? Well, that's what I have. A 2007 Acura TSX and a 1989 BMW 325i, which is behind me, also known as the E30. But soon there might be a third vehicle in the family and in this video, I'll tell you why. What I wanted to show you is that this vehicle was at the shop for about seven weeks, almost two months, and it was out because I had a head gasket issue. And as you can see, I'm having a hard time keeping the hood up. If it's not one thing, it's the next. So in this case, the head gasket had to be replaced with an OEM one, and the head had to be resurfaced, and that set me back $1,600. And when I went to pick it up, um, my mechanic told me that I changed this myself. It's called the idle control valve and it's an aftermarket one and it's I guess it's not the right one but this is what it called for so he said that I might have a leak somewhere with this because it seems like this is a little bit damaged because of what I did trying to install it because the original one is supposed to be a t-shape not L like this so it's kind of funky so it's not doing great and that's gonna be my next repair being an ongoing project, every time I have to fix something with this car, I have to start driving the TSX and then my wife is left riding the trolley that drives there. She doesn't enjoy it, especially these holidays. It was pretty rough for her because she had to get in the, in the trolley or maybe Uber and sometimes the Uber will drop her. So it was a mess and she wasn't that happy. And we're gonna go watch it right now. Make it look pretty because she was out of commission for a few months. It's pretty good, right? I don't know if the video is gonna show how dirty it is, but I can assure you that I've seen this vehicle a lot cleaner than this. It looks really good. I, you know, I'm kind of broken hearted that I'm contemplating the possibility of selling it just because I don't have room to park this thing. This car is full of issues. I still love it. It's got a lot of charm. The you may notice right now, like when I start going, it's got that whistling sound that it comes from the drive shaft. I think there's an issue with this drive, drive shaft and I've been driving it like this for over a year. It's kind of annoying. Um, and I think I've been a little bit unfair with this car because for the last 10 years it's been, it has been my daily driver and I have put 107,000 miles on this. So I keep thinking that this car is just a normal car that I can just drive. But honestly, I can see why people don't daily drive this or maybe they, they do daily drive them but they don't put as many miles on them because it's an ongoing project and it breaks down and then you have to fix it so in the last year i put over 10,000 miles and that's i would say that that's abnormal for a car this old i think we're gonna get a new car and put this one away where am i gonna park it good question i don't know where i'm gonna park this car obviously i cannot park it on the street maybe the actor is gonna end up being parked on the street you hear that very annoying right I'm kind of used to it so what i do is that i just play the radio loud so that I don't hear it, but it is an old car. The next car is gonna have to be an SUV because after the RX350 and the Tesla Model Y, I kind of gave in to the reason why people love SUVs. It's because they're just convenient and they're pricier than comparable cars. And as some of you know, a lot of these crossovers are based on the same platform as like sedans, right? So they drive like a car, but they have more space inside and um, the sitting position is a little bit better. So having that extra RX350 in the past, I loved it. Then the Model Y as well. And um, so I'm looking at SUVs. I think I may revisit Lexus and the RX350H. Amazing miles per gallon, comfortable. I know what to expect. Maybe a little bit boring. Maybe not the most enthusiastic vehicle, but Maybe that's what I need for my long trips. So let's go give this car a quick wash here as with Soapy Joe's. Make it look pretty again. Thank you. What year is this one? 89. 
And this is the car that my wife has been driving since the BMW has been at the shop. So she's had it for a couple of weeks and I hadn't driven it. And this is my first time in a Tesla since I sold mine last year. And uh, yeah, they're nice. They are very nice. This car is so quiet. I never driven a three before. Mine was a Y. Uh, about the same thing. Maybe center of gravity a little bit lower, but it feels pretty much the same. Uh, sitting position might be a little bit higher on the Model Y. Hard to believe that my friend was able to get this car for under $30,000 once the federal tax credit kicks in. It's gonna be slightly under 30. So I'm back to the same equation. Every time the BMW breaks down, I'm out of a car, and then it's either me or the wife having to take the trolley, Uber. Maybe we just need a, a more reliable car. And then I thought, what can we get that is practical and sort of affordable for today's standards, especially when cars are so expensive? And we thought of a Honda CRV, uh, brand new one. I might have gone for the RAV4, but just the RAV4 has been in the market for so long, it's what, three, four years? And I'm afraid that I get it, and then in a year and a half, you're gonna have a different body style, and my car's gonna look outdated. So that's kind of why I wanted to go with the CRV, the hybrid, but then I started reading into the hybrid system of the, of the CRV, and I hear mixed reviews about it. Let's give it a quick wash before we return it, because it was really dusty, and I just don't like dirty cars. And this is my other car, my 2007 Acura TSX. I've had this car for a year and three months. For those of you that is your first time on my channel, I bought these tires uh, over 20,000 miles ago. You notice how that thread is super healthy. I mean, I don't love the pattern, but they're holding up pretty good. And that's one of the advantages of having the same size tires all around, that as opposed to having a staggered setup, you get twice the life out of this setup. So I like that. Uh, the car's holding up pretty good. I mean, when I bought it, I knew it's an Acura and I've had one before so I know what to expect. I know that they're reliable, durable, but honestly I didn't expect this car to be such a, a walk in the park. I replaced the, the headlights as some of you might know and, and not too much to complain other than because I drive a lot, you know, sometimes when I get on those longer trips these seats are starting to feel a little flat. You have this lumbar support but it doesn't help much so when I get on, on uh, those trips to Texas my tailbone is chattered by the time I get there. So one more th thing to show you is, uh, as some of you might remember, when I first got the car, I went through a series of uh, component replacements with this car. And among those was the alternator. And that alternator, ever since I installed it, it gives me this hissing sound. It's like a buzzing sound. And it's kind of annoying. It tries to hold the way to the cabin. So when I'm driving, especially at lower speeds, I get that, that sound. Like when I'm in the city, and it's kind of annoying. It reminds me that I'm driving an old car. So yeah, 241,000 miles in this car. Over 23,000 miles in a year and three months. That tells you how much we drive. And the other car this year, I think I put about 10,000 miles. So combined, it's at 33,000 miles. But keep in mind that my wife uh, drives very little to work. She only drives about two miles to work. So most of those miles that both of these cars have are highway miles. It's nice to not have a car payment, but honestly, you do get something out of owning a car. No, and I don't need to buy a car that is going to be fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. I don't need that to have transportation. But at the same time, you know, we just want to get something like nice, comfortable, like what we had already. The RX350 that we had, uh, 2018, it was really good. So thinking of what we can get, you know, we want to get something premium something nice, something comfortable, but we want something reliable. I want to find in this car, maybe the car that I get to keep for a long time. If I found it at the BMW at 10 years now, it's the car that I've kept the longest. That means that there's a car out there that I could keep for longer. And the only reason why I sold that 2018 is because I just jumped on the uh, bandwagon of electric vehicles with the Tesla Model Y and it was a great car. It just wasn't for us. Let it be on record that it's him who wants to buy the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, my wife and I went to test drive the RS350H in the exact configuration that we wanted. My wife liked it. I kind of knew what to expect quality-wise. It was a little bit of a surprise was the powertrain because I have never had a hybrid and uh, much less a CVT transmission, especially in a Lexus application. So it was a little bit of a surprise because it's a little bit louder than I remember my normally aspirated six-cylinder. 2018 um, but otherwise a great car um, that might be the car that we are gonna end up getting but I don't 
heading this north for four miles. Of car hunting. This time, my wife is with me because we're gonna go back to the Genesis dealership to check out that GV70. I liked it yesterday. I sent her some pictures and some video. She loved it, but now I want to see it in person with her to see what she thinks. And if everything lines up, we're probably gonna get this car today. But I'm not gonna be recording anything because I want to concentrate on the deal because I want to just read the fine print. So in a very close call, the GV71, that's what I'm driving right now. We came this close from getting the Lexus RS350, but at the end, this car made more sense for me. In a future video, I'll tell you why. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.